Hello and welcome back to Frogboy X1 Gaming. I'm Andrew and today we're checking out some WRC10 on the new setup 7900 XT, 5800X. We're going to go ahead and jump into this. Now, I have been kind of experiencing like this uh, this weird issue with Kiloton racing games on here. So I want to go ahead and see if we can capture some of that for you today so that you can see. I'll point it out when it happens. Um, I was just playing some TT Isle of Man 3 and right there how it just kind of freezes like you'll see like the, everything will just kind of stop for a minute now I can kind of deal with it on on the rally games for the most part not that big of a deal but with the bike racing game yeah no that is just not a not a good thing for that but Every time it happens, I will point it out during this during this race so you can kind of see that happen in real time. And the funny thing is, is other than that, like other than that issue, these actually kind of feel a little bit better on on the AMD software when it's not doing that. Because on the uh, <clears throat> on the Nvidia side of things, it was it was just kind of lurchy the whole time in terms of just like it just you know kind of feels like see those that just happened again like you'll see it kind of kind of stop and then like, like the whole image will just kind of like like it freezes up a set like for a second and that's kind of that's kind of weird and these are the only games that i'm having that problem on and that's you know a little bit a little bit weird because I didn't necessarily have that on Nvidia. It was just more of like a constant, you know, like the frame rate just was, you know, never just uh, it never just felt smooth on the Nvidia cards either. So, but in between those, this feels smoother at higher frame rates on on the AMD cards. So I would say both of these cards, both cards like Nvidia, Nvidia is not exactly perfect in, yes. in my experience and neither is, you know, AMD for the most part, but I, I think, yeah, they're just happening again. But I do think that like either way you go, I think you're going to be happy. That's like the best thing that I can say for the most part. There's a lot more stuff to play around with it in, in here. I do. I, I am still thinking HDR quality is a little bit better on the AMD side. Definitely a little bit better. And anything that helps you get better HDR, <laughs> because that's that's important. Visuals obviously look. Um, I would say in these particular games, these Kiloton games, the visuals actually look a little bit better on the AMD side of things. In terms of like the way it handles the rasterization of the trees and the vegetation and stuff like that and there is no support for AMD um, in these games it, it does have support for for Nvidia physics and DLS that just happened again and uh, but there is support for Nvidia in these in these games so that's just kind of weird I made a video the other day about uh, Starfield and people were upset that I was you know like being like yeah I don't care if AMD does that or whatever because you know the open a nature of like PC gaming but if you're if you're AMD and you're trying to sell more products and you're getting you're paying for these these exclusivity deals or you're sponsoring you know these games and you're putting the money out there with the way that everybody talks about Nvidia and holds Nvidia up and is so quick to just be like yeah you know overlook like the flaws in nvidia i'm like wait a minute you know i i'm pretty sure they need something you know that's going to be a big hit like starfield to to kind of help showcase their their drive and, their software and stuff because most of for the most part like i i don't really feel like i'm anywhere close to being at a disadvantage going with amd over nvidia now there are things on on the nvidia side that you know i i was like yeah i do like that you know but 
as you can see and as you can hear with the, with the uh, with the sound and stuff, like things are getting things are getting better. The more I play around with this stuff, the 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 better it gets. I'm I'm pretty sure I'll find a fix for for this uh, little uh, frame rate issue or whatever it's doing, because it doesn't really feel like a frame rate. I would have had the counter on here, but that's that's a little bit distracting when I'm playing a racing game. So. I chose to just kind of leave it off. I am playing this on a controller right now as well, so we're just we're just kind of checking it out and seeing, trying to show you guys the uh, the little stutter micro stutter thing that I get and how often it happens, so they can make see it just happen right there, so that you can kind of make an informed decision. I did not have this particular problem on Nvidia with these games. It was a completely different issue <laughs> with the Nvidia. It just kind of felt like it was. Uh, it, it kind of felt like there was there was uh, more of a, what would what would you call it like the uh, shader compilation stutter. That's kind of what it felt like to me. But it wasn't like severe or anything. <clears throat> like they were still playable, 100% playable and enjoyable. But it did feel closer to what um, shader compilation stutter feels like, but just consistent. You know, like micro shader compilation stutter or something. A little bit of lurching, you know, like while you're playing. Whereas this feels smooth until it does, until it does the, uh, until it does the little, uh, the thing. Right there, just did it again. Other than that, like this feels completely smooth the whole time you're playing it. And, uh, that's that's a good thing and I do like the way the visuals look better on on the AMD thing it feels more punchy in the color and everything else so I'm just like yeah this is cool Video, uh, AMD's got some cool some cool drivers and stuff that, that you know really do uh, really do uh, kind of you know make things make things a little bit better but I mean if you're purely like in for like the new the new uh, what's it called like the, the leading edge tech with, with Nvidia like ray tracing and all of that stuff like there's no convincing you to get an AMD setup for that me personally I can live without it there it just goes again that little stutter thing Try to, uh, you know, call it out every time so that you guys can see. Cause there's, I'm not, I'm not going easy on AMD, man. I mean, I, I, I feel, I feel like I, I don't feel like I'm at a disadvantage, but I'm not gonna just sit here and be like, oh yeah, like sunshine and rainbows, because we all know that neither one of these platforms are absolutely perfect. If they were, the other one wouldn't exist anymore, and everybody would just buy the other one. But I, I like being a well-rounded person being able to figure some of this stuff out there's been a lot of people have been giving me some really good tips and stuff and i've been finding some of that really really useful and you know i mean like hearing what other people have to say you know about the amd platform and how how it, how it runs and stuff but i mean there's no reason to fanboy either one it just happened again right there right at the end so there i i mean it's not really a taking away from my experience a lot but it does it, it it is noticeable like it's it's clearly noticeable i mean like i was noticing it and telling you and like showing you i'm like look there it goes it happens again uh let's do it let's do another one i don't know if we'll finish this one this is kind of a long course but we'll uh we'll definitely drive through a little bit i want you to kind of see like you know what how this does that and stuff so that so that you can um, so that you can know man i don't i don't want you guys to run out and buy something and and not be able to not be able to live with your purchase for for real you know especially if you're coming from nvidia and you're you're thinking about upgrading to to or uh, you know side grading to to amd to to get that form of try and to be able to you know increase your overall power and stuff at a, at a cost effective price like i want you to be able to get the best bang for your buck and in my mind in my mind graphics cards for me are going to be 
one to two years one to two years i think that i'm gonna fall right into that class of upgrading every generation just so that i can nvidia just i i mean like yeah i can obviously i, I bought I bought this whole PC and built that, so I easily could have bought, you know, an NVIDIA graphics card, but then I would have had to still, I still would have ended up building a whole new PC just to go with that. Or I would have been stuck with something like a 70 or 4070 when I would have much rather had, you know, I, I would much rather have had this than any of the uh, options that I would have had to use in my uh, pre- up oh, just happened again right there. I would have much rather had this setup than have to go with something that would fit in my pre-built, that pre-built that I had. Like I'm, I'm much happier. Like I, I got to build the whole, the whole unit, the whole PC, and be able to, uh, to uh, actually see what's going on. You know, and and, and the frame counter is not on here because we're focusing this whole video on just. On just the, the little stutter issue, not stutter. I, I, it's it's almost like a uh, what you call it, hitching. Like when it hitches, when it hitches, it's a hitching issue. I'm trying to figure it out, and then if I find a fix for it, then I will definitely you know let everybody know. But I know that this is affecting. Hey, there it goes. There's a hitching again. I know that that is affecting the play. Oh, the hitching right there, right there. That was a lot closer together. Normally it's in intervals. That's the first time it's been that close in uh, in there. It's almost like a shader compilation thing. But, or not a shader compilation thing, but just... Like those stutters or whatever. And maybe, maybe it is. Maybe I gotta drive each one of these stages. Maybe we'll test that. Maybe we'll we'll test that because it felt like I, I have done a couple stages on the Estonia or whatever. But yeah, like I want to be able to. Uh, I want to be able to test all this stuff out, and I, I, I feel better with the upgrade path that I chose for the up, hitching again. I do feel better with the upgrade path that I chose on this, just because of the fact that I, I feel like I'm, I'm I'll be more I'll be well uh, I'll be more well-rounded by the time that I'm done with that I'm done by the time I'm done with this one. You know, and like building this PC, like I shouldn't have any problems, you know, if I wanted to, to go back to NVIDIA or, or anything. Like I've, I've got a, I've got a much better, much better build, plenty of room, but man, I, I, I don't know, man. Like it would be, I'm, I'm really liking AMD right now. Like I'm, I'm pretty, pretty much okay with it, you know, for the most part. There's definitely pros and cons to either one that you're going to go with. But I think for the cost of this versus the cost of, you know, upgrading your, 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 uh, your well, hitching right there to NVIDIA again, I, I, I think this cost just kind of outweighs the, the cons that might come with, with an upgrade like this. And it's nice to be able to, uh, it's nice to be able to just switch back and forth and not just be like, yeah, this is the best, and then get stuck on the hamster wheel. That's that's the last thing I want to be doing on PC is being stuck on some kind of hamster wheel. And uh, <laughs> I was starting to get there with Nvidia. Like I was starting to fall for the, I was starting to fall for it. But then, but then I was like, you know what, man? I watched a couple of benchmarks and I was like, dude, this AMD stuff is performing pretty freaking well. It made more sense for me to give this a try and uh, and, and, and at least give at least give AMD an a, a try to uh, to see if <clears throat> to see if this is something that I can live with between you know uh, Nvidia upgrades because I just don't I don't feel like the value for the 40 series was there unless you're going with the 4090 I just don't or or even I mean like a 4080 yeah I mean 
I, I just the only reason I didn't buy a 4080 is because I really, really, really am worried about the VRAM, the VRAM thing. This one here gave me 24 extra gigs of VRAM. That there should be, um, that should be sufficient. If it's not, then then I know that you know. Obviously, if if this isn't sufficient at 20, then I don't I don't know, man. I, I don't know what the future holds for us in the gaming space if we can't seem to. Uh, and dude, I mean, look at me complaining. I'm I'm up in the upper upper ends of you know like a PC card. Whereas most people are probably going to get screwed with that 4060 and that eight gig cards, man. Like that. Just, ooh, there you go. See that? That was another one of them stutters. That one there actually caused me to crash. So that is not. That's not good. That's kind of borderline unacceptable for a racing game. Like that should not be happening on on a on a racing game, especially a rally racing game. Like that just. For some reason, and if it, and it's something that's across multiple titles for Kiloton that I'm just not seeing on other games. It's only in these, so I'm thinking it's like an itch, a problem with the engine when it comes when it comes to this. But it, then when you look at it, I, I play these on the Xbox as well, so I'm not getting that type of an issue on the Xbox. Which kind of makes me think that this problem could easily be sorted out on this AMD hardware. So we just need to find the right solution to it. And, you know, I, I hope that if you know how to fix this, if you're on the AMD, if you're somebody that plays on AMD's hardware and you know how to fix this, let me know and I'll give it a try. And if it, and if it works out great, we'll make a video on it. And, um... Because yeah, there's there's really not a whole lot of information out there about AMD. There, there really just isn't. Everybody's all glossing over or uh, always always just, you know, it doesn't matter. They don't really focus too much. Like all the bigger guys, you know, that, that are most known, they don't really ever focus much on... Oh, wow. How did I freaking do that twice? <laughs> uh, they don't focus much on AMD. And when you do find a channel that's AMD, it's it's usually uh, yeah I don't know I don't know I haven't really found any yet. I think people want to like AMD. Oh, there's my hitchin. I think people want to like AMD and want to give it a try, but there's just too many too many variables. Like there's just so much overwhelming like oh Nvidia this Nvidia that that. It's really hard to, to make a decision because you're that that right there with just so much positivity for Nvidia, it just makes it harder for people to uh, to actually find peace of mind with their AMD purchase. Like no matter what, if you buy AMD or Intel, you're always going to have it in the back of your mind that Nvidia is better. Nvidia is better. Every time you run into a problem with AMD, you're going to feel like, oh my gosh, if I would have just went with Nvidia, I wouldn't have that problem. But I'm here to say that it's, I would say, like, it's pretty comparable. I don't think, I don't think either one of them is, is like, 100% perfect. You know what I mean? Like, I can, I can enjoy playing these games on either freaking platform. NVIDIA, NVIDIA just lost me this generation due to the fact that they should have saw that 10 gigabytes of VRAM being being inadequate for upcoming games when last when that same generation their closest competitor AMD was was throwing 16 gigs on those cards as as like you know their top of the line cards was 16 gigs and Nvidia was coming to the table with 10 gigs and that should have been a red flag right there when when AMD has definitely given you more VRAM I don't know. See, that's the thing. Like, I, I want to believe that, you know, to me, everything on, on NVIDIA just kind of feels like it's got planned obsolescence in it. And that that makes me a little bit worried. And whereas AMD is like, look, man, we've got one chance. One chance when this up. Oh, there's my hitching. Again. We got one chance when somebody buys our product. To really, to really send it home and and uh, and get that person to to believe and trust in in, in our in our platform, 
that's why it's easier for me to to give those those underdog you know those scrappy competitors a like mind share and uh, and actually use and utilize their platform so so that they can uh, so that they can do that like I'm I'm willing to give them that chance to prove me to prove me right or prove me wrong and I, I don't know it's even like the same thing with Camus it's like they throw a lot of power at you with their gear that like it's it's undisputable man like you get more bang for your buck but you also kind of have to leave a little bit on the table like you have you have to leave a little bit on the table to help them grow as opposed to going with somebody else and paying like twice or three times the amount of money so it just it's one of those things where um, it's one of those things where once you uh, once you go with one of these brands they have that one opportunity to, to show you their best foot forward and if you have a lot of problems out of the gate it's gonna sour you it's gonna it's gonna put a bad taste in your mouth and you know I stuck with Nvidia long enough to be like yeah dude I, I've got a, I've got a few things you know a few quirks and a few complaints about Nvidia as to you know like what the, what the heck is going on with these fellas why does everything feel like uh, with Nvidia? Why does everything feel like uh, like a scam? You know, and, and I, I don't want to feel that way because Nvidia does make good products, and I don't want to I don't want to turn this into a like a, an Nvidia bashing platform. You know what I mean? Like it's just dumb. They both make good products. Oh, there was my hitching again. I noticed that. So going through here and trying to get a little bit. Sorry, I'm kind of distracted now. Somebody opened the door and that distracted me. Kind of just ruined my whole train of thought. That's why I need to start writing stuff down so that I can so that I can stay on track with what I'm talking about, but. Yeah, so the whole purpose of this video was just to watch for that hitching and see what's going on with that so that you guys can see, so that you understand that like if you're a Kiloton Racing fan, that might be a problem with you. We've got Solar Crown coming up, Test Drive Solar Crown coming up, and that if, if that problem is in all of these other Kiloton, oh, there's my problem again. If that, if that's, if that problem's in all of, in these games, then I'm... I'm pretty sure it could come across in that new game as well. So that's something that you'll want to keep in mind um, if you are planning on going to AMD. And like I said, man, if you guys have this problem and have found a fix for this, please let me know in the comments section your best, uh, the, the best, the best way you guys figured it out and fixed it. Because I'm five days old with N with AMD on the PC, so. It would be nice to get some some good feedback and some different types of theories and stuff like that because I don't really want to sit and look for stuff online. I've, I've played around with the settings. I'm starting to get pretty comfortable with the with the adrenaline with the adrenaline software. Uh, there's my hitching. Boom! Gosh, see, I mean, like it's noticeable. Like you can notice that, and depending on where you're at in the track, if you're not in a straight line when when that happens, it it could make or break your your whole freaking time, man. Like it could completely ruin your overall experience for 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 a race. So that there's something that is pretty major with with this, you know. I mean, if you're not in a straight line and that happens it, it can definitely completely ruin everything so that's you know it's essentially unacceptable for for a racing game like this and <clears throat> i would th i mean normally i would think it's it's like my software or something or my hardware but seeing as it only happens on this it on these types of games for me so far like i i i, I kind of gotta look at the I kind of got to look at the game itself and and the developer itself to um, to um, to fix and address this issue. So, all right, my friends, if you guys like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe, man. I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching.